Not too heckless actually sung the song Walk On By, which I actually found quite funny. <laughs> I actually commend those two. That was actually pretty fun. Is anyone buying anything from Ice Cream Man? No, they're not. The crew. Hold on, what's he got in his window? What the hell is that? Is he selling something else? That, that's not an ice cream. I don't know what the picture of that is, but that's not an ice cream. I'll tell you, he is a crooked ice cream man now. He sells bootleg DVDs. Look. He's also got no teeth. He's barely got any teeth. But he does good ice cream. There, yeah, change them. Oh, you always got these heckless people though, I suppose, when you do these charity walks. I suppose there's always going to be this some smart ass people who decide to shout out in their cars as they drive by. Drive by. Get a life! So you bastards! There you are, driving in your cars, and here we are, walking, you know, raising money for cancer. And you're just heckling us. I'd like to see you get cancer and then see how the money we're raising is helping you and let's see if you heckle us that way. See if you heckle us then. Like at least we're doing something worthwhile with our lives. You're not doing a damn thing. You're just sitting in your car, three in the morning, heckling people. Of all the hecklers, there was a hell of a lot of people supporting us in London that night. And that was over a year ago now. But I do have to... Just give shout outs to those nice people in London who stay awake for hours because London never sleeps. And there was a Chinese restaurant that was open all night. They got absolutely no business, but they were there. There's people at bus stops standing there clapping us on, saying well done, congratulations, you know. Actually smiling, being cheerful, and you know, making us feel good about what we're doing. I got hit by my own Bowser shell. I took out a piranha plant. Shut up, Daisy. So, uh, and loads of people in the cars did drive by and give us friendly beeps, you know. Say, so, good job. Well, you know, beeps well done just to keep us on our toes, keep us going for all the pain that we were in. What annoyed me most, that the guy who was in the, well, no, Star Wars white outfits, I can't remember the call, they're the guards. I can't even remember what their names are now. The names of those things. But like he did it in like under two hours. I was like, you bastard, what the hell? Ah, I got fourth place. That's okay. I'll accept that. Oh, but that was over four that was over a year ago now. I'm probably still still recovering from it if I'm honest. Ah. You know, I have got an outside chance against second, but I don't think I will. Oh, 45 minutes this has gone on for. And I've only, and I've only got DK Mountain and Rainbow Road to go. And now I can definitely say I've got a podium finish. I'm pretty happy with that. It's third place, but damn it, I'm on the podium, so I am happy. Yeah. Volcano with a very angry face and what looks like a goofy tooth. Is this the one where you can actually look backwards? I don't think so. I know there's a Mario Kart game on this track where you can look backwards, but that may be the DS version. Oh man! No, that's gone wrong. That was sliding far too early there. Oh, and I've gone off. Okay, this is going well, going pretty wrong. I'm in eighth place, so I'm going to have to have one of my trademark epic comebacks. Daisy's fallen off the back of her thing again because she's a stupid idiot who's got brains like a slug. And I skid into fourth place off the bridge, and I've got a really dusty TV screen. Hey, there's Warrior. Yeah, this, this has been a bad lap for everyone, I think. Okay, I'm going to take you out. Not quite sure where my rivals are. They're behind me somewhere. Okay. Waluigi and DK, they've suddenly decided to do well on this one. 
Well, why not? It's DK's home turf. Alright, double item. Bring back the double items, I say. Three green shells. Awesome. But then again, if you bring back double... Oh, I've done it again. Bring back double items, you're going to have to bring back the two characters in the cart. Gimmicky thingy. But I like this two character. God damn it, PT, stop doing that. I don't care if you're on fire. Ah! I suppose I can turn easier now. I did like the fact that it's had two characters in the cart. It was a nice change. I have to shove them off the edge. I have to shove Wario off the edge of the bridge. I may have cost Wario gold, the gold trophy. I hope. Where the hell is Baby Mario Cooper? They're doing really crap. Right, they're right at the back. My rivals are just sucking now. This is great news. <sighs> boing, boing, boing. I don't mind going boing. Anyway, I had a dream last night when I was in the Wild West. There I was, just happily sitting at a table, eating my food, and someone starts giving me the business. Like, what are you giving me the business for? Like, hey, I'm challenging you. Let's go outside. I'm like, no, 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 I'm not going outside. Not happening. He was like, oh, if you're not going to go outside, I'm going to get one of the boys, and they're going to make you go outside. Came okay, forth. I'm like, oh, fine then, I'll come outside. And then we go outside and it's a duel. We're going to have a duel. And baby Mario and Cooper came out of nowhere to snatch third. So there we are, outside. He has his nice handgun and I get given a machine gun. This big-ass silver machine gun. 